one. Good. And you? Uh, I'm good. So uh, how's the weather today? Cold and snowy. What about Vancouver? Yeah, well, here it's mild and rainy. So uh, how did your trip go? You were in... Mexico for two weeks. Oh, that's right. You were in Mexico. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was amazing. I wish I was there even now. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Steve Ford and welcome to your English lesson. Do you sometimes feel that you freeze when you're speaking English? If this is you, then this lesson is for you. I have some great conversation questions that will help you to keep the conversation going in English. So let's go. So when we're starting a conversation in English, we want to think about questions. And I'm going to give you 10 must-know conversation questions to keep the conversation going in English. Topics, of course, will include travel, work, and of course, family. Now, it really doesn't matter what the topic is. One of the most important things at the beginning of all those conversations, icebreakers. So a great way to break the ice when you're talking to a friend you haven't talked to in a long time is when you say, what's new? Now, if you want to say that fast, you can say, was new, was new. Of course, a great conversation starter is how's the weather? How's the weather? Could be sunny. How's the weather? Rainy, cloudy, windy, many different things. For example. Hey, Steve, what's new? How's the weather in Vancouver today? Hey, Jessica, take a guess. Yeah, it's raining in Vancouver. We like to call it liquid sunshine. Please remember to like this video if you like it and share it if you liked it. And you can always, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. So on to our first main topic. And this is when you're having a conversation with friends about their trip. And you could ask them, how did your trip go? Or you could say it more quickly and ask them, how did your trip go? How did your trip go? You could also ask them, did you have a good time? Now, if you want to pronounce that quickly, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? And of course, you want to know if your friend had some good weather on his or her trip. So we can say, did you get some good weather? Or you can say it faster. Did you get some good weather? Now, this one you might not know. This is one of the many get phrasal verbs in this lesson. And when we ask someone when they arrived at the hotel, when they arrived at the airport, we can say, when did you get in? When did you get in? Yes, we need to add the preposition. And you can say it faster. You can say, when did you get in? When did you get in? In a more general sense, you can ask your friend, when did you get back? Or, when did you get back? When did you get back? So here are some must-know questions to use at work for conversation. And the first one is, how are things going at work? For example, hey Eduardo, how are things going at work? Same old, same old. This is a great expression and it means nothing is new. The next one is the same question said three different ways. Is everything okay at work? Everything okay at work? Work okay? How are you making out at your new job? Oh, this is a great phrasal verb. It means, how are things going? How are you progressing at work? So, how are you making out at your new job? How are you making out at your new job? The next one, how did your meeting go? Or if you want to say it more quickly, you can say, how'd your meeting go? How'd your meeting go? Family. The first general question is, how's your family? How's your family? That's American English. In British English, they would say, how are? Or how are your family? So be careful with that one. Next we have, how are your folks? This is a popular way in North America to say your mom and dad. How are your folks? How are your folks? You could simply ask, how's your dad? How's your dad? Normally we don't say father, it's a little formal. We can also say, how's your mom? Normally, we don't say mother. We would say, how's your mom? 
How's your mother-in-law? How's your mother-in-law? Questions of surprise. So there are some great questions of surprise. For example, you can say, are you serious? For real? And one of my favorite ones is, get out of town. Get out of town. This means, really? It, that's really surprising to me. Get out of town. I can't believe it. For example, hey Nadine, what's new with you? Hey Steve, I'm pregnant. Are you serious? Hey, yeah, the best part is I'm gonna have twins. For real? Really. And my whole family is super excited. Asking for more information. So these ones are really important to keep the conversation going. So when you're asking for more information, you can say, so then what happened? And what happened after that? For example, hey Priya, how was your dinner last night with Sanjeet at his mom's house? I saw Sanjeet being very disrespectful to his ma at dinner last night. Oh, so then what happened? I told him that if he wants to date me, he must first prove to me and my family that he can respect his ma. What happened I after that? He said he was going to apologize to his ma and take everybody out to dinner. Well, a happy ending to that story. Hmm, let's move on to the next one. So here are some bonus material for you. These are ways you can agree with people who ask you questions. You can say, for example, I hear you, which means I feel the same. I know where you're coming from. This means I understand your point of view. You can say that again. You can say that again. It means I agree with what you are complaining about. So now I'm going to do a dialogue for you to show you how all of these questions can work. And we're going to be talking to Dave who went to Mexico. Yes, Dave's trip to Mexico. Well, hey Dave, how's it going? Good. And you? Uh, I'm good. So uh, how's the weather today? Cold and snowy. What about Vancouver? Yeah, well here it's mild and rainy. So uh, how did your trip go? You were in... Mexico for two weeks. Oh, that's right. You were in Mexico. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was amazing. I wish I was there even now. And did you get some good weather? Sunny and warm, really amazing weather. The only problem was our flight back to New York. When did you get in? Really early, at 5 in the morning, and the airline lost all of our luggage. For real? Yeah, it took us three hours just to get hold of an airline representative and they told us our luggage had gone to France and right now it's in Spain. Seriously? Yeah, no kidding. They gave us some vouchers to buy new clothes in the meantime. Nowadays with airlines, you never know where your luggage will end up. I know where you're coming from. But, don't get me wrong, overall it was an amazing trip. Okay, everybody, that's it for our English lesson today. If you would like to do a free quiz to help all of these questions, I know there were a lot, 